I would like to demonstrate synthetic monitoring uh, tool for web services, which I created after reading some uh, books about monitoring. Well, let's get started. So first of all, let's log into to the tool. Now, uh, before we move on, I would like to say that synthetic monitoring provides full visibility into the performance and availability of your application. And what's cool about this uh, tool is you can create the synthetic monitors for your web service without uh, writing any code. And then um, schedule this monitor. So let's create one simple monitor. So I'm using this uh, web service, which is uh, public, publicly available. So let's create uh, one um, monitor for this endpoint. So a URL should go, uh, should go to this input field. Mm, let's give uh, this health check a name. What we are doing here is verify JSON place holder mm, service user resource here you can add uh, request headers if you want let's add one apart from headers you can add validations you want to perform against response uh, from this request so I would love to add um, status line validator so I expect to get um, 200 from this request also um, there are a bunch of validators you can use so let's uh, add one more validator such as header validator so there are some predicates uh, that are available for your um, for your usage. Let's add this predicate exists. Let's verify that um, this header uh, does exist uh, in uh, response. So now we are good to create this health check. Okay. Uh, this uh, health check is successfully created. So once uh, it's successfully created, we can uh, schedule uh, this uh, health check or we can directly run uh, this health check from different geo location. Now I would like, I would, I would love to um, configure synthetic uh, monitoring tool to run on um, scheduled basis. So let's give uh, this schedule a name. User resource. So, so if you want to create schedule for this uh, health check, you have to specify like frequency, um, frequency run. So let's uh, assume I want to run this health check every five minutes. Also, you can provide uh, email um, for, for which you, for, you can provide email uh, which will be used to notify about like any failures. So once uh, schedule uh, is created, you can find this uh, schedule on schedule tab. So as you can see, we have just scheduled this um, health check. It will it will run uh, each five minutes. For the sake of time, let me show you like uh, what we can see if we go inside schedule. So each schedule has uh, this uh, bar. 
from which we can see how um, for how service being monitored performs. So this is response time of each request. If you want to see details of uh, each execution, you can go to Execution tab. There are some uh, executions, and uh, if you want to know details about this execution, it's here. You can see response headers, you can see actual um, status code, and uh, response body. Thank you for your attention.